What's up, YouTube? We're back with another channel, Rhinox Energy here. I'm your host, Adrian. And today, we're talking about some panels. Let's get into the video. So, so far up until this point, we've had 10 Hyperion panels here that has been powering the system for the last three months. We've only had 10, so we got a little bit of an expansion going on here. Recently, I gave two panels to my mom and dad to support their EG4 mini split hybrid. So that took me down to eight panels. So what we've done, we've actually went and got eight more panels. So that actually puts up, us up to 16 Hyperion panels. These panels are 410 watts, I want to say roughly. I'll edit this out if I get this wrong. But they are bifacial. They are, they are rated up to 500 watts. And they look really good. Um, what I've noticed about these panels, they're really efficient. They work really well. And I like the black frame here rather than just having silver and blue everywhere. But it looks it looks like a very sleek panel overall. What we're gonna do today, we're gonna actually install the, uh, the next eight panels. And as we, after we do that, we're gonna run some tests on the Jeep. And hopefully, hopefully, it's about 11 o'clock here in uh, Tennessee. So hopefully after we get all of these installed, the Jeep is still charging. But hopefully the goal today is to see if these panels can power or recharge the Jeep by itself and allow the Jeep to run or charge only on solar and charge the batteries at the same time. I think we're really close. I think we're we don't have any clouds in the sky today, so that's a really good sign. So yeah, let's get into the install. We got it all installed. So this is eight panels, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 panels, all in a row here. Now, temporarily I have them up against the fence, but eventually I'm going to build another solar ground mount for those. So don't, don't worry about those. Don't pay attention to that. But 16 solar panels all installed, all in my backyard, all ground mounted and rolling. And as we take a look at the EG4 app, all right, as we take a look at the solar here, um, looking at the EG4 app, we are producing 4,485 watts. So we'll give it a quick refresh here. And let's see where to go. Oh, okay. We're at 4,550 watts, as you can see in the app here. So I have the Jeep charging right now. Uh, it's probably about 60, 70%. So I just wanted to put like the heaviest load that I have just to kind of show with 16 panels. These are the high period bifacial panels. They're 410 watts each, I want to I wanna say, with a bifacial up to 500. So with this setup, we are now officially charging the Jeep just on solar 
no battery storage at all being used. We're actually sending 600 watts to the battery as of excess power that we're producing. That's something that we've never been able to do since we started the system three months ago. This is just kind of a testament to consistency and staying on it. I did have I did have kind of a mishap uh, when I did connect the panels. Um, so what happened was that we connected the panels. And so I connected a second string. So I have these panels that you see here on the screen. I have these connected in PV2. So what I did was uh, I'm, I didn't account for the amount of voltage that you had to have in order to get over that threshold to turn on the PV line, that string. So I, I have both strings connected in series. I have 10, I have 10 connected in PV1 in series and the other six connected in series on PV2. So, and that's how we we're putting both of those together and producing 4,550 watts. We'll give another quick refresh here, but this is phenomenal. Uh, this is exactly what I envisioned when I started out with this system. I can't tell you guys how excited and happy I am because now what this allows us to do and just just to give a further breakdown, PV1 is producing 3,435 watts. PV2 is producing 1,115 watts right now. So that gives us a total of 4,573. But I say all that to say what this allows us to do right now is to further focus on getting more solar panels up out there. Uh, we're gonna have to build a ground mount. That's probably gonna be the next video for the six or um, for the six solar panels that I have kind of off to the side there. I wanna clean up the, the array and get those all organized and not looking so disheveled out there. That's that's definitely gonna be the next thing. But yeah, this is very exciting. Um, so by the end of the year, it is September now, you want to at least buy two more batteries and I think we'll be able to do that over the next couple months here at least until till December we want to fill the rack up and we want to buy at least four more panels uh, we're going to get up to a total of 20 and once we get up to a total of 20 panels I think it'll be time to switch over the AC just in time for winter uh, just in time for fall winter Cause you get that mid period to where you're not really using a whole whole lot of H HVAC, but I think we're we'll be ready to switch over into that point after we get about 20 panels and two more batteries. I think that's gonna end it for today, guys. I'm super excited right now. I'm charging at 16 amps on the Jeep. I know that's a it's kind of a slow speed. I can go up to 20. Actually, let's do that before we go. All right, so we did a second experiment here. We went from 16, charging at 16 amps. We switched to the actual EV charger to 20 amps. So that puts us at 4,620 watts, as you can see here. So judging by, we're about 357 watts behind. And what that means is it's gonna pull the 357 watts from the battery. So we're not, so maybe one or two more panels and we will be able to overcome and charge the Jeep faster. But at this point, I think just charging at 16 amps and having it fully co covered by solar is a major win, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna always take that as an absolute win every single time. Um, even just having, being able to charge at 20 watts and stay consistently right there on task that's still a that's still a win in my book but that's going to end it for this video guys we'll do more testing uh with the ev charging over time next video we'll probably be cleaning up and straightening up a lot of things out there but 
Thank you so much for watching the videos, liking, sub subscribing, sharing everything. And I'm just so excited, guys. And see you guys next time on the videos. This has been another great episode. Take it easy. I'm out.